So I have a student from within the Telegram group who says how to understand the fucking communication questions for USMLE, okay? I have made prior clips on this stuff. Obviously, in 2021, I don't carry the entitlement that you're going to go back 40 fucking clips through my YouTube, okay? However, when we talk about communication ethics style questions, I've generally communicated. My general sentiment is that studying for it is a big waste of your fucking time, okay? And it's because most of the questions on the exam regarding ethics and communication are just EQ, emotional quotient, emotional intelligence. Don't lie to your patients. Don't hit your fucking patients. I mean, you sort of just have to have a bit of intuition when it comes to the communication style questions. You could spend all this time studying for communication ethics, and then you're still going to get questions wrong on the exam, okay? You're going to find a lot of the questions you can't really prepare for. So I don't generally recommend studying communication ethics. Now, some students might say, but wait, Michael, don't you have a high-yield ethics PDF? I do, and it's a very fucking excellent PDF. You say, well, why did I make it then if I'm telling you not to study ethics? It's because students are hardcore OCD about ethics and communication, hence the student is asking, okay, that... If you insist, you say, Michael, I don't care that you're saying I don't need to study ethics. I still would feel better if I, even in a very cursory sense, looked at something ethics related, okay? So what should I look at? My answer is, if you really want to study ethics, you can look at my high-yield ethics PDF, okay? And I'll link it in the description below. That's it for this short clip. You know the deal. If you like my content, I'll continue making more. Subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.